things are rough around here. Rough doesn't begin to describe it. Just a little creepy, I guess. It all started last evening along Highway 385 just south of Holyoke. It's just crazy. I've never seen it before in Holyoke. The mouth of the storm chewed its way north, snapping power line poles as if they were toothpicks. I know microbursts can do damage, but this was kind of intermittent. At times, the damage remained hidden, blocked off by a current of snow, only revealed by the wind as it helped the dust skate out of town. Like it was dancing around a little bit. Most people listened to the warnings and stayed in Holyoke overnight. I mean, we get wind, but nothing like last night. Those who didn't were knocked on their sides and forced to rest belly up. Blankets would be nice, but instead, they're wrapped in ribbons. And it's just everywhere. Brian Kroger was amazed by the overturned trucks, but even more surprised by the plane. Uh, that was in a hangar, and it looks like it blew the end out and flipped up the, the planes. Microburst? No way, he said. You look at the damage, and I just can't help but think that it wasn't a tornado, you know? There was a perfect mix of rain, lightning, and hail as the storm moved its way east. It just really roars when it comes through. It was loud, <laughs> angry, and downright dangerous. And then it'd roar again. The sheriff says it pretty much nailed this shed. We believe a tornado touched down. We had a couple of people that actually seen it. We said it was pretty good sized and it was only down on the ground for a little bit. However long it lasted, it was long enough to send John Deere running for his dear life. It looks like it touched down right on top of it. The parts, pieces, and panels that were tossed about hid wherever they could. It's screaming, pretty much. It started off looking like hell, and within 12 hours time, quickly froze over. Welcome to Colorado, I guess. <laughs>